Medical Legal Cases Introduction A medical legal case is one where besides the medical treatment, investigations by law enforcing agencies are essential to fix the responsibility regarding the present state condition of the patient. The case, therefore, has both medical and legal implications. Registering MLC is a must, attending casualty medical officer, CMO, has the authority to decide whether the case is to be registered as medical legal or not. There is no scope for acceding to request pressure from the relatives, patient himself or his colleagues regarding the registration of MLC. Even if the accident, e.g. trauma, has happened several days ago, if the complaints merit an MLC, then MLC should be registered. Definition A medical legal case can be defined as a case of injury or ailment, etc., in which investigations by the law enforcing agencies are essential to fix the responsibility regarding the causation of the injury or ailment. It is a medical case with legal implications for the attending doctor where the attending doctor, after eliciting history and examining the patient, thinks that some investigation by law enforcement agencies is essential. It may be a legal case requiring medical expertise when brought by the police for examination. Medical legal cases, the following cases should be considered as medical legal and as such the medical officer is duty bound to intimate to the police regarding such cases. All cases of injuries and burns the circumstance of which suggest commission of an offense by somebody irrespective of suspicion of foul play. All vehicular, factory or other unnatural accident cases especially when there is a likelihood of patient's death or grievous hurt. Cases of suspected or evident sexual assault. Cases of suspected or evident criminal abortion. Cases of unconsciousness where its cause is not natural or not clear. All cases of suspected or evident poisoning or intoxication. Cases referred from court or otherwise for age estimation. Cases brought dead with improper history creating suspicion of an offense. Cases of suspected self-infliction of injuries or attempted suicide. Any other case not falling under the above categories but has legal implications. Admissions and discharge of MLC. Whenever a medical legal case is admitted or discharged, the same should be intimated to the nearest police station at the earliest. It is always better to inform the police through the casualty of the hospital where the medical legal register is usually maintained and necessary entries can be made in it. While discharging or referring the patient, care should be taken to see that he receives the discharge card referral letter, complete with the summary of admission, the treatment given in the hospital and the instructions to the patient to be followed after discharge. Failure to do so renders the doctor liable for negligence and deficiency of service. If the patient is not serious and can take care of himself, he may be discharged on his own request, after taking in writing from him that he has been explained the possible outcome of such a discharge and that he is going on his own against medical advice. Police have to be informed before the said patient leaves the hospital. Sometimes the patient, registered as a medical legal case, may abscond from the hospital. Police have to be immediately informed, the moment such an instance comes to the notice of the doctor hospital staff. Death of a person admitted as a medical legal case. The following are the do's and don'ts in case a person admitted as a medical legal case expires. Inform the police immediately. Send the body to the hospital mortuary for preservation, till the legal formalities are completed and the police releases the body to the lawful heirs. Request a medical legal post-mortem examination. Do not issue a death certificate even if the patient was admitted. The dead body should never be released to the relatives, it should only be handed over to the police. Doctor's duty. Every doctor under law bound by a contract to serve its patient and cannot refuse treatment. Every doctor has to fulfill certain legal requirements in service by compulsion or voluntarily as defined under law. Medical legal case. MLC, examination and reporting is one of the legal responsibilities of all doctors working in a hospital. In the judgment of case Permananda Katra vs Union of India, the Apex Court said, every doctor is bound to provide medical aid to the victims irrespective of the cause of injury, he cannot take any excuse of allowing law to take its course. Procedure for registering a medical legal case.
treatment, all legal formalities to be suspended till the patient is resuscitated. Identification, whether the said case falls under medical legal case or not. Intimation to police, if it does fall in this category, then he must register the case as an MLC and or intimate the same to the nearest police station, either by telephone or in writing. Acknowledgement received, from the police should be received for future reference. Reporting of medical legal case. Reports must be prepared in duplicate on proper pro forma giving all necessary details. Avoid abbreviations, overwritings. Correction if any, should be initialed with date and time. Reports must be submitted to the authorities promptly. Medical legal documents should be stored under safe custody for 10 years. Age, sex, father's name, complete address, date and time of reporting, time of incident, brought by whom. Identification marks and finger impressions. All MLC to be informed to the police for taking legal evidence. If the patient is dying, inform the magistrate to record dying declaration legal responsibility of a nurse during admission and discharge of medical legal case mlc responsibility of nurse during the admission and care of patient after receiving the patient from opd to ward immediately inform the doctor on duty of that unit all the records of patient like opd slip admission slip admission files must be kept under lock and key to prevent legal issues it is nurse responsibility not to show the patient's records to anybody. It is nurse responsibility not to show or hand over to any police personnel. It is also a nurse responsibility not to throw any discharge of patient without the permission of physician. Nurse should keep the belonging of the patient in her custody. Take consent of relative or patient for any kind of procedure or treatment. Avoid answering enquirers to an insurance agent. The condition of patient should be reported verbally to relatives. Maintain all records of the patient accurately. Responsibility of nurse during the discharge of patient. On discharge, no record should be handed over to the police by nurse. Enter clearly, if patient is transferred to another ward or hospital. Before allowing the patient to leave the hospital, nurse should clearly enter or write the name of relatives of the patient. It is nurse responsibility to keep all the records concerning to patient under lock and key after discharge of the patient. In case of death of the patient. After death of the patient, if patient is medical legal nurse must get written instruction from the medical officer for handing over the body of the person to mortuary police officer. Note complete name and address of patient. Note identification number. Signature of witness. Note list of belongings of the patients. Maintain privacy and give full respect to dead body. Legal responsibility of a nurse in admission and discharge of mentally ill patients. Times as per Indian Mental Health Act 1987 major patient, mental ill, gets admitted on a voluntary adult basis. Times after admission, nurse should check the application form for admission is accompanied by report of two medical officers out of which one should be government doctor responsibilities during discharge of mentally ill persons times check the signature of patient or relative after discharge of the patient times note permanent and correspondence address of patient responsibilities of a nurse in case of absconding of patient Times check the number of patients admitted with actual number of patients present in the ward while handing over and taking over charges from one nurse to another. Times inform immediately to in charge of the unit and keep the record of patient under lock and key. Responsibilities of a nurse during examination of a female patient. Times it is nurse's responsibility to maintain the privacy of female patient during the examination. Times nurse must present during the examination. Times little exposure of patient is to be made. Times protect the right of the patient during examination of female patients. Times it is nurse responsibility to discourage if repeated examination of breast perineal part by the male doctor. Legal responsibilities of a nurse while administrating medication. Times keep in mind 5 R while administering medication. Times follow only written order of physician. 
times strict monitoring of medicines especially one which change the chemistry of blood. Times medicine containers must be properly labeled. Legal responsibilities during sterilization and abortion. For permanent sterilization, it is essential to times get informed consent signed by both husband and wife. Times eugenic sterilization to prevent procreation of unfit such as mentally retarded, mentally ill, habitual criminal and sexual deviates is prescribed in some part of the world. But each case is taken independently. Legal responsibilities of a nurse during organ transplant. As a nurse, she should be aware that an uninformed donor prepared under sedation for removal of any part is criminal in the court of law. So. It is nurse's responsibility to get the consent signed by relatives as per the desire of the deceased.